This is an Atlantic Goliath grouper. As one of the world's largest groupers, Atlantic Goliath grouper are known to grow to sizes exceeding 8 feet and 800 pounds. Due to their large size, site fidelity and catchability, the species was listed as critically endangered and in 1990 harvest was banned. Over the years, Angela Collins and her research team have carried out a valuable baseline study of Goliath grouper within the central eastern Gulf of Mexico. We've been looking at Goliath grouper abundance and distribution in the central eastern Gulf of Mexico since about 2007. We're looking at numbers of Goliath grouper over both artificial reefs and natural habitat throughout the year and we're looking at the size distribution of fish that are present at each of these sites. In addition to the visual survey work, we've been tagging Goliath grouper with acoustic pingers so we can track their movements through time. We can get long-term monitoring data for individual fish and basically what we're doing is we're going to specific sites, mostly artificial reefs, and we're catching the fish. We're bringing them up and we're fitting them with little pingers that make a unique code. Each fish that's tagged has its own unique ID and then um, we have permanently deployed hydrophones at several sites within our study area that can listen for fish all the time. Um, so we can get an idea of site fidelity of specific fish, how long they're staying at certain sites and also where they are in the water column so we can get a good idea of their behavioral patterns throughout the day. We can also get an idea of fish that are moving between sites. So sometimes the fish go from one shipwreck to another and the hydrophones record that fish movement. So today we caught some Goliath grouper. We started out at the bridge and got some bait and then we ran out to the fin barge which is in about 80 feet of water. Um, we used some of the bait to catch some bonita which we then used to catch Goliath grouper. Um, the first one we caught right away we set the bait in. He took the hook we had a short fight, not too bad. Um, got him up, he was almost six feet long, that first guy. And uh, we tagged him with a, an acoustic tag and with an ID tag so that when we're diving on the site next time we should be able to identify the fish by his ID tag. After we let that guy go, put some more bonita in and cut three more in a row. So we had a great day, caught four nice fish, ready to do it again tomorrow. <laughs> Although the Atlantic Goliath grouper has responded encouragingly to protective measures in the US, the population's recovery should be more thoroughly evaluated before altering regulatory guidelines.